A heavy police force responds to a local high school after receiving death threats aimed at students. And Coin Local 6 has learned this is not the first time it has happened. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. Mike is off today. We are told that students are safe, but the investigation is expanding at this hour. Coin Local 6 reporter Brent Weisberg first broke this story on CoinLocal6.com. He's live at the Scappoose Police Department with the latest. Brent. Jenny, good afternoon. The superintendent tells me that the high school principal knew about these two threats in early March, but they did not notify the district or police until yesterday, last night at 6 p.m. Now the district says they are reviewing their protocols. Scappoose High School is generally like a safe place to be. I think it's disappointing that um, people are doing the things that they do to cause this. Senior Mariah Hill was one of the first students to arrive at Scappoose High School this morning, just hours after the district released information that someone made a threat to kill students and staff on today's date. Police say there were two threats made. The first was found painted somewhere on campus in early March. The district says the school handled the investigation internally and that the graffiti was then painted over. Police won't release the exact date, but tell us after the first threat was made, a similar graffiti note was found and that also threatened to kill students. The superintendent says he and police were only notified of the two threats yesterday at 6 p.m. First and foremost, and most importantly, is that uh, our students are safe. And they're our highest priority. It's just disruptive to schools, and they need to be in school and getting every day they can. Parent Holly Knockbar says her family got a call from the school early this morning. The district decided to keep the school on a normal schedule. But enrollment today is down from roughly 700 to 200 students. I think someone wants attention because that happens a lot in our school. The police department added eight officers to today's rotation. Many of them are in the school trying to reassure parents, students, and staff. We want our students talking to the police today and talking to the adults. At this point, police say they have questioned only a few people. They are reviewing surveillance video. At this point, no arrests have been made, and police, I just spoke with them, they will not tell us if they have any suspects or persons of interest. Reporting for you live in Scapoose, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin Local 6.